Ah, the promises of physical or spiritual. Let's talk about that. I should do like a King James version of that song. <laughs> Five minutes with Frankie F. Wow. I just keep hearing. Do you all hear the Ivy Tiger, Tiger in the background? Okay, Come so. On, wait, listen, let him listen. Oh, that's why I like an Egyptian. I say that is not Ivy Tiger. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Monday. Can you believe it? The week, other week, she gone. First okay. day of the week. Yesterday was wonderful. Uh, church time and family time, and it was good. Walmart anyway, Walmart time. And yeah, Walmart time. That's our, 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 our official weekly date to yeah. Walmart. Official. <laughs> so, um, we have physical promises and spiritual promises. Nine times out of ten, we want the spiritual promises. But a lot of times we pray for the physical. Um, I love that people want to pray for the physical. I, I think God is the healer. I think God is wonderful. He would He would heal people mentally, emotionally, and physically. And but if, if it's His will, but if you come to really know the New Testament, it's more about spiritual health. Yeah. And sometimes we pray for physical things and we don't get it, and we get upset at God. Well, we're all going to die, guys. You know, when, we, or when we're pain and physical or mental or emotional, God doesn't want us to go through that pain. But on the other hand, there's sin and there's our minds and our bodies are degrading because of sin in the world. And so when, quote unquote, America was founded, um, from the time it was founded until the Revolutionary War, um, there was like hundreds of years between that. We, we forget that. We just, like, jump from one to the other. That's true. And a lot of the people that signed the Constitution and were in charge at that time believed highly in the Bible. Now, they might have had some really skewed views of Jesus, but they believed in the Bible, and they believed in the foundation of truth and the foundation of morals. And so they thought this was going to be a physical Jerusalem or a physical okay. next step in God's plan. And they use this scripture all the time. George Washington and James Madison used this scripture a lot in their writings. It's in Hamilton, too. And it's in Hamilton, yes. So when I read this, it actually comes from the Bible. Um, and they thought, hey, God is physically, well, if God has physically blessed America, uh, but spiritually we're going down a hill. Yeah. And if we don't turn our spiritual, then physical is not going to work anyway. But they thought when founding America that this was true. Everyone will sit under the own vine and under their own vine and under their own fig tree. And no one will make them afraid, for the Lord Almighty has spoken. So they use that as, quote unquote, an excuse to start America. That this was going to be like the second Jerusalem, the second, you know, wonderful place that people can have freedom. And that document is... I mean, everybody loves to copy the, the document that we have, the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. Um, and I think God did bless us, but we're going down a Penrose path, people. We need to turn back. And so this, this scripture is actually talking about spiritual. Um, Micah was warning um, Israel and uh, Samaria about God's going to come. You're going to judge that. You know you've done you've done wicked things. You've uh, oppressed the poor. You've cheated out people. You your prophets are telling lies, and God was going to judge. And then Micah turned it to hope that there is going to be hope. If you go through this physically, there's going to be hope spiritually coming up. It's and, be trees, right? <laughs> and here's and this is a picture of a spiritual kingdom that everyone will sit under their vine and under their own fig tree and no one will make them afraid for the Lord Almighty has spoken. So they, they thought it was a physical blessing that they were going to get. But in all reality, if you read the New Testament, it is a spiritual kingdom 
a spiritual brothers and sisters, a spiritual father, a spiritual husband as God, and the church is the bride of Christ. It's all about spiritual health. And then we need to get our spiritual health right, no matter what our physical is happening. And yet we blame God for our physical. Now, I have, like I said, I have no problem with praying for physical, emotional, mental. But sometimes God says no, because it's not in his will. It's not going to fulfill a purpose. And we hate to think that way. But God can do whatever he wants. And we trust him because he's a loving and merciful and a wonderful God who says, we're going to have peace inside. Not peace in the world. The world is crazy. But we're going to have peace inside. I like to always think God knows the big picture. Let's trust it because he knows. He knows the big picture. We, he knows we just see this part. You're here and he knows what's going to happen yeah. here. So I challenge you to think bigger than just what you are on who you are. All right. I love you, Jesus. Love you too. You have a great day on this Monday. Rainy Monday. Rainy Monday. Ugh. Let's jam out to journey as we exit. Okay. <laughs> We went a little long there. That was definitely over five minutes. You think? Yeah.